Last time. Right. Yes, last time. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Rescued by Dragons, the online Dungeons & Dragons game, Dark Brew Monster Vanguard. Uh, so where we left off last week, actually point of order, uh, because I always get confused by this, uh, to hit for armor is if you, if you match their armor class or above, uh, it is a hit. Uh, on the other hand, if someone equals your DC save or above, then they do save against the spell. So it is not above, it is equals. So um, <clears throat> a little correction from last time. So uh, last week uh, we left off, let me pull up my notes here, but uh, okay, you guys met uh, Henny. Um, you guys, and I'm sorry, my notes aren't pulled up yet. I should have done that. Uh, but you guys met um, you guys met Henny Dark Brew. Uh, you went into the uh, the arid valley and you encountered uh, what did you encounter? You started off encountering the the panther, the straw panther that attacked Lucky from behind, but you guys were able to kill that. And then you were attacked by a bunch of wild boars and you were able to kill them. And you have decided uh, to make camp a little bit early before nightfall um, and see if maybe you can draw the sniper that you have been hunting out. So let's go ahead and put the map back down. All right, do you guys have any position you wanna be on or we'll just throw it out, are you around a campfire or are you I think I was helping someone cook bacon. Like oh, that's right, because Bel you Belmaya. you killed the boars. Right. That's All why right, we so ended up you... camping, because we were just... Yep, that's right, because we you wanted to, to make bacon. All right. So unless somebody wants to move their position, uh, we'll just call this the campfire. Boop. <laughs> okay. All right, so there we are. Begin. You are sitting there. It is just about getting to. It's a little bit before sunset, um, and I assume you've got a fire going, and you're probably not uh, disguising, taking any effort to disguise the fire, or keep the smoke down, since you want to to uh, draw out the sniper. So, what do you do? Um, I think we just cook bacon, and I just cook bacon. <laughs> grumpy and... okay <laughs> okay that's cool yeah lucky could sing again to draw more, oh yeah more attention. lucky why don't hey you want me to sing a song Fine. Sure. please <laughs> you sound so enthusiastic <laughs> <laughs> here little sniper 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 here little sniper 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 maybe uh song. when we're <laughs> trying to lure the sniper maybe you don't sing yeah about yeah the sniper <laughs> uh johnny Dear roll a stranger, stranger, stranger. roll a d20 what? with disadvantage for me please <laughs> uh. that would be based on my skill of singing. that was an 18 and a 16. wow pretty good uh despite that wonderful song and the smell of bacon <laughs> Uh, it's getting pretty dark, and so far, nothing. Uh, you guys want to stay up and wait, or you're going to just go to bed and take watch like normal, or? It is now after dark. You we have waited. You have eaten your bacon. Yes, I say watches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they think something's up, they're probably not going to, you know, spring their trap. We we've already we're already one step ahead because most of the time if they're hunting people, they're hunting people that don't know they're being hunted. But we know they're hunting people that they think don't know are being hunted. So we're ahead of the curve because at least we know that element of surprise is gone. <laughs> do we all have dark vision? Yes, I you do. do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you all have dark vision. 
It's so bitter. Which Fine. doesn't mean we can see perfectly. It just no, means no. we're not blind in the dark. So we still yeah. have disadvantage mm -hmm. on attacks and stuff, but at least they don't have advantage against us. But someone's jealous because they've never had dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> No, no crossing the campaigns. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So, who is taking the watch order? Who is first watch? Whatever we said last time. Oh, please! You expect me to remember that? Uh, I can go first. Okay. Oh, that's right. It was um, basically you guys do four watches, and Lucky basically decides to keep watch. Whenever. whenever whenever he feels like it yeah yeah okay so who has the first watch Valmaya. yeah Valmaya. okay we'll go winter i'll be on watch with Valmaya. fine <laughs> then we'll go winter nikoya and myself okay um Valmaya and lucky please roll a please roll perception Nineteen. Jeez. Oh, okay. Six plus two. Eight. All right. <laughs> so I have to assume that you guys are sitting there on watch, and Lucky is basically talking your air off, uh, Valmaya, mm. while you're trying to concentrate and keep watch. And while Lucky is chattering away, uh, you hear something off to the side of you, which just catches your ear, and you're not a hundred percent sure if you heard something, but you do look in that direction, and you can see the weeds or the, the straw grass rustling a little bit and you see come out of it a single, it looks like a fairly large spider, like large as in like small dog size. Um, but instead of it having a spider head, it actually has like, looks like an eel head. Um, yeah, it's really gross looking. It comes out, it looks at you it looks around and it scatters back into the straw. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to cast detect thoughts. Detect thoughts. Yep. Okay. So for right. the duration, I can read the thoughts of certain creatures. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I believe detect thoughts also lets you sense if there are other creatures that can think within the area, correct? Uh, bah, 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 bah. I, I, can focus, I can focus my mind on any one creature that I could see. Damn it. You can also detect thinking creatures within 30 feet of you. Yep. Okay. Uh, well then, um, you reach out. You don't necessarily detect this creature's thoughts, but you detect six thinking creatures in the straw next to your camp. Do any of them seem malicious? Yes. All of them? Yes. <laughs> Neat. Okay. That's about all you can really tell. You, that gives you surface thoughts. You can yeah. attempt to roll if you want to get below the surface. Um, but the surface thoughts, you get hostility. You get hostility from at least one of them. and you can tell there's five others. Okay. Um, for them bacon. <laughs> well, you're asleep. <laughs> I'm going to nudge Lucky and whisper to him and let him know that there are six, there's six um, creatures kind of surrounding us. At least one of them is not very happy and Feels malicious. Are those six creatures other than us, or are we part of those six creatures? Okay, as you guys are talking, you can see <laughs> six creatures poke out of the brush. Blech. These <laughs> six little spider eel things Blech. run up. I sound the alarm. Rail, rail, rail. <laughs> to wake oh, everybody up. That's just lucky doing his 2 a.m. <laughs> runabout. <laughs> Got the zoomies. Uh, okay, so. I am going to say at this point you're all awake, but everyone but Lucky and Valmaya is prone. 
Roll for initiative, please. And I'm yeah. not wearing my armor, right? Because we were. Oh, I don't know. What is your armor? Chainmail? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not sleeping. Okay. On that. Okay, then you're probably not wearing your, your armor. You might want to get, you know, just from experience, you might want to get some studded leather pajamas. So I'm just saying. <laughs> they came in really handy for Vorjan. <laughs> um, okay, initiative please, is everyone off of roll decks, initiative. Right? Initiative yeah. is off decks, and I will roll for the baddies. All right. Okay, uh, who got... Above a 15. I got 18. Nice. I got 19. Nice. And who got above a 10? I got 10. Oh. OK, so Winter and Valmaya got 10? I got 11. Oh, 11. OK. 11 and Valmaya. OK, I wrote down 11 instead of Winter. OK, that'll. <laughs> Valmaya, so these are. And uh, Lucky? Nine. Nine. Okay. All right. So that puts you in the back of the pack. Okay. So, um, uh, uh, Nikoya, go first. What do oh. you want to do? Uh, they're just kind of hanging out watching us, right? They're not actually attacking, right? Well, they basically came out, ran out of the bush, and stopped there. That was kind of their first turn to run ahead of you. So they're basically their next. They are attacking. They are. This is okay. combat. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll stand up because I'm lying down. Mm -hmm. That's half um, your movement. Yep. And uh, I'll hold my action. So if any of them attack any of us, I'll cast Eldritch Blast on them. Okay. Okay, so you're going to hold the action. All right, Kel. Um, I'll stand up and grab my halberd. And since I have a reach of 10 feet with that weapon, I'm going to uh, attack... The uh, we can put him here. We can put him here. Well, let me put you guys in actual squares. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna attack. Is that an eleven or a nine? The one you just that that's that a one. nine. Okay, I'm gonna attack that one. Okay, you're gonna attack that one. Yep. Okay. I guess um, I have to roll for that, don't I? Uh, it's a twenty-one. Hit. Oh, that hits. I always feel like I get really close to my camera when I like leave <laughs> and stuff. Uh, you can I keep doing that to look at the map. It shows. Or is that winter? Um, you can pin it so that it's the only screen that shows, so it's bigger. Oh, the map. <laughs> map. Mm -hmm. I was trying to maybe enlarge the map for you, but it's not letting me do it. Oh, you can oh, pin I it. I got it. I mean, I'm not going to because I'm recording everything, but um, um, I rolled 12 for damage. Okay. You rolled 12 for damage. Yes. And everyone wow. moved. Okay. Well, um, uh, that's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. uh, and now I'm going to, if I have 25 feet and I used half of it to stand up, what does that leave me with? I mean, I know it's 12 and a half. But... You, you round down. Okay. So, so I've got... Call it 10. Okay. Uh, then I'd like to move 10 feet in a straight line past winter, just two squares to the my left. I don't know what it is for you. So here? No, just back where it was. Here. Go right right below oh, winter here. and then keep going. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, okay. And that's, okay. that's uh, what I'm doing. So that is, so now it is uh, these guys' turn. Uh, the first one, uh, actually, this one, since it was saw you kill its buddy, is going to run up to you. He's going to take a bite at you, and he is going to roll a 10. My I armor class is 11. Yeah, I assume <laughs> you missed. Oh, that's right, because you don't have your chain mail on. Okay. Um, so, uh, this guy is gonna run up here and take a bite at Winter. Really? Winter's still on the ground, Wait. right? Yes, Winter yeah. has not, yeah, Winter is prone. And also, um, that, Nicole Do I need is... to, my action for, for that one? The one that yes. at me. Yes, yes, because you were holding your action. So, yeah, you can do... Oh, uh, I rolled an at one. <laughs> 
You rolled a net one. Yep. Okay. Um, I really got to come up with I really got to come up with critical fail. <laughs> well, it's a. I'm not a huge fan of like a net one equals a crit fail because it seems weird that all powerful. I mean, in the later levels, right. super powerful creatures have a five percent chance to just fuck it up. Which like. <laughs> That is true. That is true. But you're like, you know, you can be the most most dexterous athlete in the world and like still like trip over a something, just you know, trip over your feet on occasion. <laughs> yeah. Probably but, not five percent this, of the time though. Yeah, given this situation though. Well, what, what were you trying to do? Were you gonna cast a spell or use a weapon or I was gonna get Eldritch Blast on the one that attacked Kelvin. Okay, so I won't call that. So you just you basically just missed. Okay. Um okay, so now it's gonna go and yes, uh Winter, you are prone. That gives it a Advantage on melee attack, but a disadvantage on ranged, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. All right, so it's going to roll with advantage. Three. And nine plus three. Twelve. Does that hit? I have a twelve. You have a twelve. It does hit. Um, okay, so you are going to take 1d4 piercing. You take three piercing... And you take 2d6 poison damage. Winter, Winter's so upset, she's just, I know. <laughs> she's just vibrating. Uh, one. <laughs> wow, I just rolled two ones in a row. So you take additional two points of poison damage. Please roll a 20, please roll a 20 sided die for me. And tell me if you get a 10 or above. Is it a constitution? I got a 19. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. It is a constitution, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you are... Okay, you are not poisoned. Okay, how much damage did I just take? Uh, you took four total. Okay. Five total, I think. Yeah, five total. Right. Okay. Yep. Um, okay, so uh, is there anything else you want to do with your turn? Oh, oh that's not your turn, right. Um, these guys got to go. No. Okay. Um, he's going to stay here. And attack Nyoka. You're standing, so it's not disadvantage. So, um, oh, damn it. And five poison damage, and please roll a constitution saving throw. 17. You also are not poisoned for one minute. Yay. Okay, it is Winter's turn. Okay, so I'm going to use my half movement to stand up. Okay. And then let's see... Hello. <laughs> I am going to attack. Is that a seven? That's a seven, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to attack number seven. I will. Does it take another movement to like unsheath my hand axe? That's a free action. Okay. So I'm going to do that and try and swipe at it with the hand axe. Okay. Please roll to hit. Okay. Oh, that didn't land well. 19 plus 5. Oh, you hit. Yeah, you hit it. 
All right. And for, so let's see, 1d6. Yeah, got one. Okay, so I just did four damage. Okay. And then do, I have a bonus action, right? Yes, you do. So then with my other hand, I am going to try and hit the baddie with my dagger. Oh, that's right, because you are a dual wielder. Okay. Same same one? Yeah. Okay. Um, so that is a 16 plus 5. You got, it. you got it. And then we've got, so is it still just D4 plus? It's 1D4 plus, is it your strength or dex for a dagger? Either one. It's strength. Okay, either one. So yeah, 1D4 plus 3. Okay. Where'd you go? We've got seven damage. Seven damage. Okay. Well, uh, your first, your axe, uh, your axe strike bloodied it pretty well, and your dagger strike finished it off. Yeah. Yay. So, uh, okay. And... You can take movement, but you would get an attack of opportunity on for number five. So it's your choice. What you want? Do you want to use your movement or stay put? I could get an attack of opportunity. No, no, no. If you move, it will get an attack of opportunity. So you can either move or stay put. Oh, um, I will just stay where I am. Is it technically because of the bodies? Is it, um, what's the word? Rough terrain? Yeah. No. No, I wouldn't say it's rough terrain. I don't think you couldn't stand here, but you could move yeah. there if you wanted. And you wouldn't get an attack of opportunity because you're still within contact of him. Um, I'm going to stay put for now. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, Velmaya. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to Eldritch Blast okay. the one that. Keep in mind, you're still prone. I was on. Watch. Oh, you're on watch. You're, you're on correct. watch. Correct. Right. 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 Okay. Are you going to yeah. Eldritch Bratch? Which one? Number three. Uh, yes. Okay. This the that falls. It's within five feet, right? So you get disadvantage because you're trying to I do would, a range spell attack. With Eldritch with Eldritch Blast, I it's don't know if there still is still a range um, spell attack. It should be. Zip, zip, zip. I will take a quick. I think you're probably right, but wait, doesn't um, doesn't your uh, your you had something like a feet? Doesn't that doesn't agonizing blast take? Oh, agonizing blast does not take, does not counteract that. Oh no, but I forgot about that and should have used that last time. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. Um, let me see. Uh... Okay, you know what? Uh, I'll look that, but let's just keep the game going. I'm going to just ignore the disadvantage for right now. We'll just say she got lucky and didn't have to roll disadvantage. And then I'll look that up later. Okay. Um, so I got 10. All right. You missed anyway. Cool. <laughs> uh, anything else? Um, I'm going to move... Over behind winter. Okay, it will get an attack. Both of these will get an attack of opportunity on you. Oh, true. Okay, fine. I'll just stay right there. Okay. Uh, lucky. Hello. All right. I am going to move to the other side of number three. So. Here boop, boop, or here? Yeah. Oh, here. So they're flanked. Okay. Nope. He'd be flanked. No, 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 no. Wait, no. What, where you were. Here? The other one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so three is flanked, right? Yeah, three would also be flanked here. Cause... Okay. Um, so I am going to... Or... Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to stabby stabby with my rapier. Okay, stabby stabby. So rolling my... D twenty plus oh um yeah ten. Ten. Mm, just missed. No. Um yeah, I guess that's all I got. Okay. 
Uh, that means we're back up to Nyoka. Nikoya. Nikoya, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Mallorca. Uh, I'm a little terrified of my situation because I'm near four of them at the same time. Mm -hmm. With coals uh, at your feet. Um, <laughs> Nikoya, you can take an action to disengage, which means you won't take an attack of opportunity. You also so can't if you attack, wanted to, so it's up to you. So if you wanted to, you could like head over here, um, uh, and then you, and then use a bonus action to drink a health potion or something. Um, so um, so the, so you do have the option to disengage as an action without yeah, taking think, attack of opportunity. I think I'll do that and get some distance because I'm, okay. I'm not looking so great. Okay. Live to fight another day. Wise move. Right. So where do you want to retreat to? Uh, where are you pointing to? Okay, that five, was. ten. That good, or you want to go more? Let's go one more. One more. Okay. But yeah. Let's be far. All right. <laughs> Let's be far away. Um, okay. What, what are the health potion? What is that? That's a two. The... That's a two d four. A two d four. Yep. Okay. And then you use it once, so it's it's gone after you use it once. Okay. That's that's it for me. Okay. So that brings us back to Kelwin. Um, I'm just going to swing at number five across the dead body with my long pole. Yeah, these things are small enough that you can go right over it. Um, so roll the hit, please. Oh, 11. All right. You match its armor class. You got it. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, and that is, I think, nine? Nine damage. Nine damage. Okay. Very good. He's gone. Okay. Um, oh. And then you said these are small enough it's not difficult terrain to... I, I won't let you stand there, but I won't count it as difficult terrain. Could I move to the square one down and then two to the what I think is the right <laughs> between <laughs> two corpses? Between two corpses. Right here. Yes. And then I'm going to yeah. action surge and attack number seven, eight? Eight. Eight. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess that'll be ten feet. Sure, what the heck. Um, yeah, go for it. Natural 20. Oh, okay. Ooh. Roll the dice, double it, and add your modifier. Kelwin's really grumpy. He got woken up. <laughs> uh, seven times two is 14. Plus uh, don't three. worry about the modifier. He's dead. <laughs> 17. All right. Kelwin is a wrecking ball tonight. <laughs> I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> Smiley, it's you. Don't wake Kelwin. I pull off uh, my grumpy, my grumpy dwarf face, and actually, I'm Smiley Cyrus. Uh, there weren't any two other... fighters; there were two bards the whole time. <laughs> now, it is action surgery about bonus action, or is it just a, it's just an additional action, right? So you still have a bonus action. Oh yeah, you're right. Um. That's all. Okay. All right. We're back down to Lee's little beast. Oh, wait. I lied. I have more movement. Okay. 5, 10. I'm going to go diagonally. That's right. 5, 10, 15. You have... What do you have? I think you have one more movement. Sure. Were... I'll go where you just pointed. Wait, were, you here? were you were here? Yep. 5, 10, 15. Yeah, you got two. Okay. Um, then I'm going to go one step further in that direction there. Yes. Could all we right. get like a... A yeah, I'll number I'll lettered that. square grid thing. So well, we can no, be like... that's a lot of work. But what I'll do is I'll do like um I'll do like a left right. Oh, so I'll, do, okay. I'll do like an east. I'll do like an east north west south kind of. Oh, thing. that would work. Yeah, just like a compass okay. rose or something. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's um, it. I'm done for real. Okay, groovy. So now it is their turn again. Uh, this guy is actually saw you saw you slay another one and run up and you caught its attention so it's gonna zip over here and attack you kelwin and it is going to uh, wildly miss all right uh number three is going to swing around and attack lucky because that was the last one to take a swing at it oh no Velmaya. yeah so uh, seven plus three. I assume that misses. 
That misses. Okay, excellent. All right, so that brings me to Winter once again. Hello. Hello. Um, I am going to step forward three spaces, but I'm next to number three. Can you walk through the fire? That's the fire. That's true. That's the campfire. Jump. Yeah, I'll let you jump yeah, over. It, you're not going yeah, very yeah, far. Yeah, is it? Find the, okay. Oh, you're right there? Yep. Or right here? I am the previous. Yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. Um, and then I am going to do, I'll just swing with my hand axe at the number three. Okay. Go for it. So, four plus five? Plus three. Oh, four plus five. Yeah, you're right. Uh, still doesn't hit. <laughs> No. Sorry, nope. everyone. I stole all the big rolls tonight. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you do have you do have the bonus action with your dagger. Okay. So what I'm gonna do then is try again with the dagger. Okay. Wait, is Lucky flanking it? Are Winter and Lucky flanking it? Yes, Winter and yeah. Lucky are flanking. I am sorry about that. Go ahead and roll that first attack roll again, please. Oh, I have advantage. Okay. Ooh, 19. All right, you hit. <laughs> Okay, D6, four, five, seven damage. All right. It has been, hath been slain. Die. All right, and Vamaya, your turn. Mm. Could I technically still use that bonus action? Oh yeah, you can use the bonus action. Um. So can I move, I'll move step forward one again, mm -hmm. and then now I'll swing with my dagger at number four. Okay, roll please. I just realized when I push my mic up into the mute position, there's a little beep to let me know. So I'm pretty sure every time I've muted and unmuted, it will come through in the recording of just this beep. I haven't no. heard anything. No. no. Yeah, heard anything. I know. Not for you guys, but for. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if mine does that. No. Uh, no. I rolled a 17 plus. That hits. So Damage, please. <laughs> Um, and that's what the D four. Four plus three. So six damage. Okay. It is looking bloody. Yeah. Now it is your town, Velmaya. Okay, I'm gonna try to blast it again. Good. It will not be disadvantage, and uh. I'm not gonna hit it. No, no. Oh, you. I was gonna say you could step aside, uh, not hit winter. <laughs> Regardless, I do nothing. But, okay, let's just say that like you go to you go to cast it and you realize, oh crap, winter's in my way, and you kind of try to bend it a little bit and you miss. Um, someone's calling me. I was wondering why the map <laughs> went away. Oh, dare they? I was um, wondering why the map went away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so Velmai, you do have a bonus action. You do have a movement. I'll just stay where I am. Okay, um, so that brings us to Lucky. Hi. Okay, I want to move up right next to number four. Uh-huh. And I'm going to try and stab him again. Okay, stabby, stabby. Better be better. Ah. What if it rolled off the thing? Do I roll it again or do I go yeah. with it? Roll it again. Okay. Oh, yeah, much better. Um, 14. That hits. Yay. Okay, so it is a D8 plus three. <laughs> Six. That's exactly what you needed. Yay! Yay. Dunk. The last of these little spidery creature, gross-looking spidery things are dead. What they like? So. Spid spidey eels? Spider eels? Spider eels, yep. Uh, if anybody with a nature or survival proficiency wants to go ahead and... Sure, I've got roll a fuck all into survival, but still proficient. I have all. If you're curious, um, were each of the legs also eels that it walked on? No, they were they were spider. They were spider legs. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, I got a nine for its survival. Okay. Lucky nature. At sixteen. At sixteen. Uh, okay, uh, Lucky. Uh, in your travels from afar, you actually have heard a description of these in some tales and songs you have collected along the way, and you realize these look a lot like uh, Nagoni. Uh, which is a very badass creature that can not only seriously poison you, but it can also control your mind. And it, it's, it's basically an, uh, a sentient creature in the woods that can control your mind and poison you. But these did not try to mind control you, and they looked a little small, so you piece together that these are probably Nagoni hatchlings. I look at lucky Aww. or maybe they just didn't sense anything worth controlling <laughs> go back to bed you grump Rude. <laughs> um so so mama spider may be nearby you don't know that's about all you remember i i as soon as i lay down i sit back up we should probably make sure that there is no mama spider nearby Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's gonna be very upset. Yeah. Um okay. should we all head out in the direction of the Spidey babies? In the darkness? We, can mm -hmm. we all have night vision. We should still have, you all have night vision. They had um, night vision too, by the way, so that's why there was no disadvantage. We should all or should we I don't wanna stay don't here, here and be Pray in the night, and I don't want to go looking for trouble either. How large is um, one of the full grown creatures? You don't know. No. She's no. actually never, Lucky has actually never seen one. She just heard about them in songs and poems, but she doesn't actually know the, the size. Can I roll for survival to see if I know anything about that? I think that ship sailed. <laughs> Rude. What if we yes. what if we just burned the little baby bodies to hide the evidence and they wouldn't know? Uh, I Not feel my like call. that would I yeah. feel like that would be just as drawing. You don't want to talk mom with yourself burning babies. Um, Velmaya, roll a uh, intelligence roll for me, please. Nine. Nine. You're like, eh, I don't know. Cool. Oh, what do you want to do, Kelwin? I want to go back to fucking sleep. Um, uh, uh, you said you wanted to move on, but not in the way of the babies, so you want to just keep on the path? That seems reasonable if we just walk for an hour or so, then go That's back okay. to bed. Anyone have a better idea? Not particularly. Okay, mm -mm. let's go. Pack up quick. Here we go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, seen. You guys. You guys seen. All right. Uh, you guys find. I'm not going to walk in, in the back again. Probably. I'm not changing the map here. Uh, you know, I'm just going to say you guys made it camp. Um, made it to camp. You set up a very quick camp. Probably didn't even light a fire. And just did your rest of your watches. Maybe slept in a little bit. So it's a little bit after sunrise as you guys are still starting to starting to get up. Um, you didn't see any sign. You don't see any tracks around you. You don't see any uh, straw moved or whatever. So you guys think that you pretty much safely escape the notice of the hatchlings mama and papa um so okay now i'll need a marching order do i, I get to heal a little bit when i sleep Isn't oh yeah uh if you guys we'll say you guys got a full night's sleep so you uh got uh what is a full night's sleep in the woods it's basically your well how much did you get with your healing potion uh i got six of the potion but i'm still six down potion. okay five, five uh you have a couple options you can so yeah you would have gotten it's 1d8 plus your constitution for a uh, night's rest not an inn, correct, Brian? 
that's just a homebrew rule I made. I think rules oh. as written is if you get a full rest, you're full health. Okay, we'll call it that because it's easier. So you're full health. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, so now we'll need a marching order, which I believe was... I Winter has in. a question. Winter has a question, yes. Um, for half-elves, does that impact rest needs at all? I don't know what you mean. Why would is it... this a cleric thing, not an elf thing? For what, the four-hour rest? Or the meditating? Oh, yeah. Uh, elf thing. yeah, I think that's an elf thing, not a half-elf thing. Yeah. Also, I just typed in healing after rest and totally forgot that that applied to, like, normal life and not D&D. &D. So I was getting a lot of, like, <laughs> like, I have a bruise. I should, <laughs> should I nap? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I think this was the order. No, Velmaya was back here. It was in... So I think that was the order, if I remember correctly. Okay, if that was not the order, please correct me. So that so. that fight happened during the first watch, right? Yeah, first watch. Okay. And then you, and then you guys slept through the night rest after after moving camp. Slept through the night, a little bit early into the morning, just to get your full rest. Okay. So, okay. All right. So you guys are walking. You're walking. You're walking. Uh. And. I just, whenever I find the snippet, I've just been putting it in the the Discord for future reference. So that oh, was also okay. our that... Discord. Your Discord did not just go off if you're watching this. <laughs> I did watch that. Um, okay. Uh, so um, all of you make a perception check, please. My favorite. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, nat 20 Ooh. plus something. Wow. Minus one. Nineteen. Nineteen? <laughs> uh, I, I got four. Twenty-one. Oh. We're doing perception? Yes. Yeah. I got fourteen. I, I hate it when my big baddie rolls a one on their stealth check. <laughs> I oh, like it. Bummer. <laughs> so, you guys here, uh, you guys see an arrow shoot out of a tree and land in the ground right in front of Kelwin, and you all definitely heard where it came from uh, because you spin around, look at this tree back here, and watch a bow fall out of the canopy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and then you see uh, a sun elf quickly jump down out of the tree, grab the bow, pick it up, and go behind the trunk. So, you know, there is an elf with a bow right there. Winter, get the net. Can, can I use my <laughs> yeah. feline agility to speed right up to him and catch him? Uh, why, don't you all roll initiative. why don't you all roll initiative, please? Ooh. God, I'm rolling so good oh. today. Fuck. Seventeen. Seventeen. Damn, y'all. I think Amaya beats me though. <laughs> Your feline <Yeah>. agility. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Lucky had a seventeen? Or Vel no, no, Lucky had an eight. Oh, Lucky had an eight. So Kelwin had a seventeen. Uh, yeah, and Velmaya. But and Velmaya, Velmaya goes before me. I don't think so. Oh, I only have a plus one for my decks. I, I think she's got a negative one. Oh yeah, I have negative one. <laughs> yeah. She's <laughs> Thelmaya's cerebral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'll trip over myself easily. Yeah. Okay. Anybody uh, over 15 besides Kelwin? I'm at and a Velmaya. 15. Okay. All right. Uh, anybody above 10? <laughs> anybody above zero? I got a three. <laughs> three and eight. Okay. Uh, so, all right. Uh, winter, and then lucky, and then clumsy elf got a nine. So okay, no, um, clumsy so, elf still beats me. Yes, Kelwin, what would you like to do? Uh, can I dash to and just run right up to the elf? Uh, you have a speed of what twenty five? Yep. 
so I won't get to attack or anything. I'm just going to use my action to dash and run right up to him. Okay. Um, don't you have, like, a... Oh, no, that's something else. Okay. So, um, well, that would actually be 5, 10, 15, right? Because you're going diagonally. Mm -hmm. 20, 25. So you get there. Oh, you're dashing, though. Yeah. Yes, you're right there. Yeah, and that's it. I'm just going okay. to stand there. Okay. Uh, you do get a bonus action. That's it. I'm just going to stand okay. there. Okay, Velmaya. Hmm. Actually, can I go... I know it's not quite on the map, but one square. Yeah. Right here. And down one. Or here. There. Right there? Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm going to also... Well, maybe not. Uh... You could, right now, you know she's there, but you can't see her. She's hidden by the tree. But yeah. if you got at least up to there, you'd have a shot at her. A clean well, shot. I was going to go all the way over to, like... Oh, you could do that, too. Yeah, so I'll do that. So over to here? Yeah. All right. Is And are, I... Are these planes not as, like... Rugged and difficult. Oh, I am sorry. You're right. I forgot about difficult terrain. We'll say the grass is shorter here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to chill out there. <laughs> Actually, I'll, okay. I'll hold my action. Um, if she, like, gets violent, I'll blast her in the face, hopefully. Okay. Um, so what action are you holding? Eldritch Blast? Yeah. And you're holding that with Infernal, uh, excuse me, not Infernal Legacy. You're holding that with um, Agonizing Blast or just no, regular? Yeah. I think, um, doesn't that, don't I just yeah. do that? Yeah. Or do I? Yeah. Oh, you're right. That's 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 automatic. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're holding your action. And, yep. uh, okay. Nikoya, it is your turn. Um, can I get within 30 feet of that elf? Within 30? Yeah. Within visible range? Let's see. Yes. Yeah, you could get... You could get there. Um, I'm going to cast uh, Tasha's Hideous Laughter on it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what is the save against Tasha's Hideous Laughter? Uh, it's a wisdom saving throw. A wisdom save. Okay. All right. What's the number they have to beat? What's your DC? Oh, gosh. That's a good question, uh, Brian. <laughs> it it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly, suddenly, my dice is cursed. <laughs> uh, it got a one. I cursed it. Oh. So. <laughs> I spent um... the last seven days cursing his dice. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> I believe, Nikoya, I need some kind of a, a vocal uh, vocal um, cue for that spell. Is there a vocal cue? Uh, yeah. I believe you have to say a dumb joke or something. <laughs> oh, do I? Or... <laughs> oh, no. I'm bad at jokes. <laughs> Is that really a thing I have to do? <laughs> Not really, but, you know, for flavor, for next time. Uh, okay, so uh, okay. <laughs> not just laughter. Uh, okay, she is uh, prone laughing, uh, is incapacitated, cannot stand. Um, she can. She was like this until damaged. It was clear that Nikoya casted that, right? Whatever your focus thing is. Uh, it is voice. Yes, it is voice, somatic, uh, and material. So he probably just pointed at her, grabbed the iron spoon that hands around his neck, and went, Spoon! <laughs> and, and she collapsed in a, in a hideous, well, a, in hideous laughter. So, you okay. have an iron spoon around your neck? I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, is, uh, it is the elf's turn, but she is incapacitated. Does she get to so, save against yeah, it? Yeah, she gets to, make she a, gets to a save, save if it's 
uh, oh, at the end of each turn or if damaged. Yes, yeah, so she does get to save. What does she need to save? Uh, really? Oh, yeah, Brian. Uh, what was that? No. Oh, you know what? I have it here. I believe it's a 14. 14? Yeah. Yep. All right. Oh, and she does. No! Uh, she got a 20. But she's still prone. She is yeah, prone. That's the end of her turn. She is going to spend... That's the end of her turn. Oh, right, because she used her action to save. Yeah, well, at, she gets to save at the end of her turn, so even right, if, right, that right, way right. the spell's not just a waste if they failed yep. and then succeeded immediately. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so that's the end of her turn. She is no longer... She is still prone. I don't know who goes uh, after Okay, her. so that is Winter next. No, excuse okay. me, Lucky next. Lucky next. Aha. Uh -huh. Um... I can move 30 feet up as close as I can to the sun elf. Uh, 5, 10, 15. You can move about there. OK. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make you laugh with my singing, cause it was so bad. Hey, please roll. Oh, motherfucker. Wait, she doesn't have to roll. It's the, the elf. Oh, right. She has to oh, save. Yeah. You're right. She has to save. I'm sorry. Yeah, and that, you don't want to look at that roll. What is your save? Nice. She rolled oh. a 16. A what? I believe. Oh, I have it here. Yeah, she made it. She saved against it. Where did I write that down? Uh, I have it here. I believe it's a 12 for you. Oh, it is. There it is. Yeah. Yep. And she beat it. So she just kind of um, looks at you. She, she, she knows she's in a dire situation, but she just looks at you and she's like, what? <laughs> when, um, oh, whose turn yeah. is it next? Uh, it is Winter's turn next. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my bonus action to mm -hmm. give her bardic inspiration. Nice. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, uh, Winter, please give yourself, a, you get a 1d6 to use on either uh, attacks or saves or ability. Okay, for attacks. the next 10 minutes. For the next 10 minutes, correct. Is my movement only 25? Uh, as a half elf, I believe your Should movement be 30. is 30, I think. Let me look here. I have it here. Yes, it's 30. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Five, 10, oh, I'm sorry. Lucky, your movement is 30 here as well. So you could also have gotten there if you wanted to. Oh, Lucky. All right. You want to stay there or go back to there? No, that's fine. Okay. Where I was. Just leave me where I was. Okay. Winter, you can move 30. So I can move 20 feet diagonally so that I'm next to lucky right there okay uh cool, cool. one more in the diagonal okay and then i am going to let's see i've got a five foot oh whoops nope 15 foot reach on your net Oh, I think that's at disadvantage. So I'm going to move one closer. Uh, you're out. That was Matt. You're maxed. I thought that was 25. Uh, you went in an angle. Oh, I see. Yep. OK, um, I'm going to throw my net at the elf. But then mm -hmm. if I throw it beyond 50, beyond five feet, does that mean I'm at disadvantage? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think, I'm not sure. Actually, I didn't look up net. Can you even use it? Does it say ranged or is it just? Yeah, so it says five and then it has 15 in parentheses. So I think that's oh, if five I- Five slash 15. Yes, it would be a disadvantage. So okay. how does disadvantage work with bardic inspiration? Do you roll twice, you can... then see what the lower one is and then decide if you yeah, want to Yeah, use... absolutely. Okay. I would allow that, yeah. Okay. Uh, so but have... you have to say you're gonna roll it before he says if it hits or not. Correct. Okay, yeah, I'll do uh, Bardic Inspiration. So, wait, so I can I can roll twice. So, so roll with disadvantage. And then add the D4 to the disadvantage throw. D6. D6, that's what I mean. Yeah, unless okay. it's like super low and you don't think it would be enough to- Or super high. Or super high, yeah, you don't want to waste it, so. Okay, and I would still add my, oh no, that's my hit, Never mind. Okay. Yeah. 
You would add your oh. plus, your proficiency if you're okay, proficient in that. Gotcha. Okay. So 12 and 10. So the 10 and then I'm rolling the D6 plus two. So I got a 12. And then you're, nope. you're a I got oh. oh, what's your modifier for your, uh, that's going to be a dex modifier. Or is that a strength modifier for the net? Pretty sure it's. I'm going to call it dex. Dex. Because it's I'm a call ranged dex. weapon. Yeah. So what's your, so your dexterity 13. is plus one. So that makes it 13 total. Doesn't D&D mm -hmm. Beyond have that little like plus attack modifier thing next to the weapon? Is he, are you proficient with your net? Because then it would be a plus yeah. three. He is. He is. She is. Okay. So it'd be a plus three. So, and that brings it to 14, which yeah. just hits. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's why I was splitting hairs because I was like, oh, yeah. this, is, this is important. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Okay. So you uh, got it in the net. Cool. Yep. And so it is restrained. Um, and then for a bonus action, is it possible to like hold a bonus action? No. Okay. Then I think I'm just going to call that my. Okay. Um, well, we go back to you, Callum. You have an. Uh, we're going to call her unarmed because we're going to say she dropped the bow once you guys got entangled in the net. So you um, have an unarmed, restrained sun elf in I front of you. I guess I will hold my. Actually, can I kneel on top of her and pull out my hand axe and hold it to her throat and tell her in common because i don't speak elvish um i'll tell her i've got a really pretty face and i'd hate to cut it up if you make something make a stupid move uh please roll advantage uh, please roll intimidation with advantage okay because that's cool <laughs> okay uh 17 okay uh she just looks at you really really pissed off and then you can just kind of see her face relax and she becomes resigned to her fate and she's like fine so you guys kind of now take now that battle's over uh you kind of notice she is you know she's basically a well tanned sun elf she has long straw colored hair she which she actually has woven pieces of uh, leaves and straw into it. She has leather armor that she is also kind of stuck somehow, straw and stuff. So she's very well camouflaged. Um, you guys probably wouldn't have seen her if she didn't drop her bow. <laughs> um, and she just looks like she's, you know, she looks like she's someone who's out hunting. Um, Does and you can speak Elvish? I, do. I would have to assume Winter does. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, you know. I mean, and she understood you, too, lucky, right? In common, so clearly. I mean, it's hard to misunderstand an axe to your throat. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no. She, 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 she looks at you and she's like, ah, "You're gonna let me up? No. <sighs> You're gonna kill me? I haven't decided. Fine. Take it. Um. Okay. So. What, you're not going to rob me? Uh, what? No. What? Oh. Just... And then you guys, uh, you guys, well, actually, I'm just, since you're, like, kneeling on her and you're roll right over, you notice she's got a pretty sizable leather pouch hanging from her belt, which you assume is got a fair amount of gold in it. Why are we not robbing her? Because we weren't hired <laughs> to rob her. We weren't. To bring her in. We have a job okay. to do, and it's not to rob people. They didn't say not to rob her. We'll get to that. We can't rob Coins her. Coins are shiny. So, mm. does anyone have rope? I'm sure there's rope. You in all my, have. You all have rope. There's rope you in my pack. Rope. If wait, yeah. we're not. We weren't camping. We we're just walking, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. So, well then, I'm just gonna tie her up. Okay. That's fine. Well, she is. So you're going to keep the net around her and just yeah. tie the net around <laughs> yes. her. Okay. So yes. you're tying the net around her. And yes. The net. She looks really uncomfortable because the net's like you know against her face. Uh, like I take 
I also grab her bow from the ground. Okay. Pull it out of the net somehow. Uh, she handed. does. I don't know if I just, I totally just disconnected right in the middle of that. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why I thought that would work. Oh, am I back? Kind of. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh. This is the excitement of a live recorded internet game. <laughs> it's actually doing pretty well, though. It's been yeah. great. I'm pretty yeah. happy. Yeah, that's mostly just my uh, my little wireless adapter in my PC that okay. just likes to poop itself. Anyway, I was trying to say I hand the boat a winter. I saw that, yeah. And, um, uh, you also noticed that she has a sword, a sword short. God, I can't say that. <laughs> she's got a short sword next she's got to a, her she's waist. She's got a sword short. Uh, I assume you disarm her of that as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. You know what? I'll take her pouch, but I'm not opening it. Okay. Uh, are you, you know. taking it for safekeeping, or are you taking it like you're stealing it? For safekeeping. Not for, I'm not stealing okay. it yet. Um, um, yet? Yet. <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of disarming and offloading elf supplies to people just to yeah. keep them safe and in a group. Now, Kelwin, you do remember that you were told um, any spoils of war were, as it were, were uh, free for you guys to split as well. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Yep. Um, okay. Um, I'm also going to look the elf in the eyes. Uh, and tell her uh, we were hired to hunt down a sniper, and we were also told that dead or alive doesn't really matter, but you're lucky that I like to go a little bit above the call of duty and keep you alive for now. But you make one wrong move, say one wrong word, and I can change that real quick. She glances at the two tieflings and looks at the tabaxi and then looks at you and says just nods just kind of gives you a i snarl she snarls back <laughs> i i try really I'm hard just to like a little myth that she didn't take into <laughs> consideration <laughs> so uh, i'm gonna ask her uh why did you shoot at us she doesn't. She doesn't answer. Okay. Are there others around? Are you alone? She nods curtly. I don't believe you, Lucky Valmaya. See if you can find any. Uh... Let's see if we were recently being spied on by more than her, and if they fled <laughs> once they saw that she is apparently incompetent. I can cast detect thoughts on her and delve deep in. Hopefully That's she's thinking she right now. You know I'm what? I'm in her mind. Actually, yeah. Fomaya, you do the interrogation because we don't need her to speak when you do it. Um, and then, Winter, I'd love to know if you can find anything exceptionally elfy on that bow. I don't know. Signs of a tribe. Do you want me to do here. a nature check of the surrounding can area? We, can we glance around and see if we see anything else? Yeah, lucky. Okay, uh, so Velmaya. All right, that. let's go back to Velmaya. So you're doing uh, the detect thoughts, right? 
I'm doing to tech thoughts, and I'm also. Okay, are you delving deeper, or are you just going for surface thoughts? Um, surface thoughts at first, then I'll delve deeper. Okay. Uh, the immediate surface thought you get is her thinking to herself, "I can't believe I dropped my fucking bow." Um, and then slightly under that is she's wondering, maybe if they waste their time looking for someone else, that'll give me a chance to escape. All right, um, I'm going to speak to her in her mind. And be like, don't you dare try to escape. She looks uh, at you and just kind of like her eyes suddenly go a little bit wide and she squints at you. And... Um, are you really alone? Um, I don't think you can communicate with detect thoughts. Or is this something else? That's that's her, it's something else. Her oh, that's the thing. The, so, the, like, I can use it to kind of together. Right. And okay. It'll kind of force thoughts to, like, <laughs> you know, stream across her mind unless she's like really careful. Okay. Okay. Um, so she's gonna. She doesn't like you in her mind, and she's just gonna talk. And she's like, you know, I'm alone. Get out of my fucking head. I'll get out when I want to. She just sighs. <laughs> she starts, and then she starts like consciously thinking about what a pain in the ass you are, and she can't believe she's being been hunted by this bunch of yahoos. <laughs> well, if you weren't such a clumsy yeah. idiot dropping your bow. Door. She's like, "Fuck you!" But you can tell behind underneath that she's like, "Fucking a." You shouldn't drop <laughs> your bow. So okay, so you basically, she's super embarrassed, but trying to keep up a tough exterior, um, and you guys do kind of look around, but you don't notice anything. She's alone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, actually, what the hell are you doing out here? Why are you shooting at people? I'm robbing them. Why? Why do you think? That's Money? It? It's a lot easier than, like, being a barmaid and Sandhurst or Inglestone. Lots of wealthy dwarves have been walking up and down this road the last few months. Easy pickings. You're a lazy coward. Huh? Yeah. All right, guys, let's uh, drag her ass back. She's just out here stealing from people. Okay. Uh, you guys know that you have one more night to camp, and then you will be in Dark Brew midday the next day. All right. So I guess we can just carry on dragging her. Not dragging, dragging, but, you know. <laughs> her. Her, forcing yeah. her to walk with us. Yeah. Um, yes. And then we can make camp. Oh, did Winter find anything interesting on the bow? Was it just like? It's just a bow. Just a bow. Okay. What kind of bow? A longbow. Ooh. Put that in the old inventory real quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Who took the short sword? The sword sword? I think I just handed it the weapons to Winter. Okay. Um, okay. So I guess we just go make camp and then discuss what yeah. to do with our you guys. Prisoner. You guys hit the rest of the... You guys go the rest of the way. You make camp. Uh, I'm staring at the elf sharpening my claws. Valmaya, <laughs> Nikoya, both of you, are yes. you able to just yeah. listen in on thoughts whenever? Is that what I've gathered? I know you guys can get in people's heads, which I'm frankly not super thrilled about, but I recognize that it's useful. Um, it is a second level spell that only lasts for one minute. So it's not and it's concentration. So it's not like they could do it all night or something like that. What about when you guys are making fuck me eyes at each other? Oh, we can do that whenever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all day, every day. <laughs> all day. <laughs> um, I can I can only communicate with people in their minds. I can't read their thoughts. I feel like we should have a discussion of what to do with our prisoner, but I don't necessarily want her to have a say in what happens, and I don't want to leave her unwatched. So either someone gets to watch her and not be a part of what to do, 
or if I was wondering if you guys could listen in while keeping a watch on her. She, uh, so she just kind of is watching you guys do this, and then she's like, look, I'll let you guys go ahead and bind my feet or something, but can you please get this fucking net off of me? No. 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 Uh, fine. But we should bind her feet, too. Yeah. Thanks for the idea. <laughs> Suggestion. Now that we're not walking. <sighs> not my day. No. You're clever. Can we tie a rope around somebody and then tie it around her too so it's harder for her to get away? Like she can't flip out as easily? I guess we could. Do you want to volunteer? Sure. I'll volunteer. Could also just tie her to a tree. Yeah. Mm. We'll tie it to Nicoya. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, okay. You know what? I don't really care if she hears. So, we were hired to find a sniper, figure out what that was. Clearly, it was this girl who had used up all of her luck and, you know, made the poor decision, I glare at her, um, to rob the well armed group of people in the middle of the plains, whatever. No, well, you were the only one that looked well-armed. Everyone else I, was I wearing... point to Winter, who's also right. well, like... She's in, she's in leather armor. You've basically <laughs> got... Yeah. I can understand why the two yeah. horned devils over there in... Wait, wait are they, they're just in leather armor too, right? Oh um, yeah, they are. I thought they were in robes. Yeah. 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 No. Okay. Whatever, how and why you got here is not important. What's important is what to do next with you. And I'm not much for, you know, senseless slaughter. But if we bring you to where, what's the name of the place we're going? Dark Brew. Dark Brew. If we Dark bring Brew's you to rest. Dark Brew and turn you in as the highway bandit, they're probably either going to toss you in the dungeons forever or just kill you. Or we could probably get you, you're good with your bow, I presume, if you've made that fat of a purse out here. So, Dark Brew's looking for guards, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, she just looks at you and kind of like, her, her, her countenance softens a little bit. She just looks at you and kind of nods and says, I don't really have a choice, do I? You don't. Um, the only thing you can do right now is say something stupid and have me decide to kill you. So, probably just sit there and be quiet. She says nothing. Smart. So, what do the rest of you think? Do we tell Hilly? Wasn't that who we... Uh, Henny. Do we tell... Do we tell Henny that you know what, we found the sniper, took care of him. Well, Henny is back in Dark Brew. Or Henny is back in Inglestone. Uh, you guys the... are actually going to Dark Brew, and you're going to meet her husband, Ovid. Okay, so do we tell Ovid that we, I don't know, found a sniper, or him or her, dispatched them, found this sorry elf who was at least promises to be good with a bow and could work as a guard? Do we kill her? Do we turn her in as the sniper? Do we... I'm sorry, that was, that was Ovin. Ovin. Ovin with an N, yeah. Do we well, set her loose out here and hope she can survive without her bow? Because I don't want to... She's been killing people for their we, pocket We turn change. her in, clearly. Yeah. That's what we were paid to do. We turn her in. Was she killing people or just robbing them? Uh, she, she was... called a she, sniper. She was, she was robbing them. Uh, she's probably killed a couple. She's not like... The DC sniper and something. She's not just like <laughs> killing people to, for the fun of wow. Dominic. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. It's the only thing I could think of. You guys, are, yeah. but she's not like you know just killing people at random. It's like yeah, she's accidentally killed a couple, but mostly she uses the arrows to wound, scare, and intimidate. And I'm just people. saying, but, Dark Brew is not exactly looking for the most pious of people, and. It's not exactly a pristine civilization out here of high society. So, I mean, look at us. I'm sure most of us aren't perfect. 
So Thanks second her. chance or just turn. I it think in. we we let we let Doug Doug Brew make that call. That's not our call to make. We I agree. Justice. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, Winter, you agree? I'm thinking. And then, um, can I speak to the sniper? Well, first of all, I'm going to ask if they have a name. She just looks at you and do you, goes. Do you ask in common or Elvish? I'm speaking in Elvish. Okay. Elvish. Uh, she says her name is Lyric, and you guys all understand the word Lyric. It's not like an Elvish, Elven version of that. Her name is Lyric. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then just in Elvidge, just kind of to try and like build trust. I'm just gonna ask, like, okay, Lyric, can we trust you to if we try and have you join the Dark Brew, are you going to go back to this lifestyle or are you actually going to join the ranks and do your job? It depends on the job. Okay. Um, so then I kind of turn to the group and I'm like, I don't I honestly don't know if she'll be a good Spider, it doesn't sound like she'd be dedicated. Then we let Oven decide. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think she has what it takes anyway. Apparently, she I don't. Drop her bow out of a tree. Sure did. <sighs> you can see her face get red a little bit. Maybe Oven will feel generous. Good night. <laughs> she nods again. Mm -hmm. Normal watch. Yeah. Um, okay. And as you guys start your watch, you notice that Lyric, even with her feet bound and her hands in the net, she still manages to get into a kneel position. And from what you have seen of elves, you realize she is now in her meditative state. Before so before I head off to bed, I want to kind of pull Winter to the side. Um, Look, I was, from my time in the the army, a, a tip for you when you're taking prisoners. You don't ask their name if, unless you know you're not going to kill them. Otherwise, Why do you it, say that? Because then it makes it harder to end them. Once you put a name to them, they're now a person. It always makes it just a little harder. I can do what I need to do. Sleep well. But thank you. You too. Okay. Does anyone want to snuggle? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lyric kind of opens her eyes and looks at you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so last uh, last time oh. the watch was Valmaya, Winter, Nikoya, yeah. and then me in the morning. Okay. Um, we're just going to skip through that. Nothing happens this evening. You have caught your prey. Uh, you get up early in the morning. She is still there. Uh, you continue the half day, and right around lunchtime, you see the walls of Dark Brew emerge in the distance. And we're going to take a, let's take it to a 10 minute break. And we'll start again. Thank God. I have to pee so badly. I was going <laughs> <laughs> to. Right. That's why you kept saying.